Gum or periodontal disease is the leading cause of tooth loss in adults. It's an infection in the gum pocket around your teeth, which can be very hard to get rid of without lots of time in the chair, antibiotics, and eventually perhaps surgery. Here's a laser alternative. It's one of the pleasures of summer, a nice cold drink or maybe a chilly ice cream cone, but not for people like Paul Diaz. Well, when I was eating uh, cold foods or liquids, uh, I felt a little bit of discomfort. It would get a little bit of uh, chill, you know, on the teeth. Warning three, bleeding. So Paul went to his dentist and got a surprise. His teeth sensitivity was due to gum disease. Which is unusual. Most of, of the symptoms and signs usually are more like a bleeding during brushing and flossing, if they floss, bad breath. For gum disease that's resistant to deep cleaning and antibiotics, the recommended fix is often gum surgery, cutting open the gum to clean out the infection that eats away at the bone, causing loss of the affected teeth. But that can be a painful solution. Enter the laser. The advantages, no pain, no swelling, no fear. It's actually a three-step procedure. First, after local anesthesia, a hair-thin laser fiber is inserted into the infected gum pocket around the tooth root. This kills off the bacteria causing the infection and alters the plaque and tissue in the pocket so that a piezoelectric probe can literally vibrate the pocket clean. Finally, it's the laser again, this time forming a special clot that essentially reattaches the gum around the tooth, sealing the pocket to further infection, speeding healing, and just as important. Long term, it actually starts forming bone, little by little, up the root. So you actually start solidifying the tooth and actually forming better structure. Now, Paul Diaz told me that he had almost no pain or discomfort after his laser procedure. And again, the really exciting part of this is that the laser technique may be able to reverse this chain of events of infection, bone thinning, and bone loss. That's the common sequence of events in gum disease. This, but the sounds, like, is, this sounds like a miracle to me. Well, I, I don't know if I can call <laughs> it. It's a go quite, quite, It's a miracle. <laughs> I don't know if I can go quite that far. But clearly, you know, it's got the potential for making it a lot easier if you don't let the infection and the process go too far down yeah. the road. Okay. Oh. All right, Dr. Max, thank you. Thanks.